What's up guys, welcome back to Jovian Games. My name is Kareem Jovian. You might be wondering why I have all these games on my desk right now. My Elite Pro membership on GameStop is gonna be ending in one month. After that month, I'm probably not gonna buy anything from GameStop anymore. They had a really great deal where if you buy one retro game, you get the next one 50% off, plus the 20% off that I get for being an Elite Pro member. I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the GameStop stores, and then we're gonna jump into what I got mailed to me. So remember to hit that like button button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to be updated if I ever release any videos like this. Thank you. So you're probably wondering, why did I go out and buy all these retro games? I'm on a journey to get the games of my childhood. A lot of the games I had back then were either stolen, lost, or sold off. So when I was younger, my mom was kind of struggling, and I thought I would do something really nice. I wanted to help her out, so I took my Xbox 360 Elite version and my 50 games and sold them all for $300. I probably lost a lot of money when I was younger, but I didn't know any better. I hold huge nostalgia for these games that I played back in the day, and I have an emotional attachment to many games that I've had in the past. Let's start opening these games up. For the first game, I got Rage. Rage is actually a game that has a sequel coming out, so I thought, hey, why not pick this game up? The GameStop employees probably hate me because every time I get a game, I'd always switch it out for a better copy. I always tell them, this one is really scratched up. Do you have another copy? I would like to switch it. So I usually do that until I get a decent condition one because I don't want to like put this game in because this does work on the Xbox One X and I don't want to put a screwed up game in my $500 console. The next game I got on the list was Bioshock, another game I did not play. I tried it, but I did not completely play it through in my childhood. Bioshock, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Uh, my friend, she's always playing it. She still plays it till this day on her, uh, on her new console. Like I told you, I like getting the complete package when I'm buying from GameStop. If it doesn't have the manual, it doesn't have the original case, and it doesn't have a good condition CD, I'm not buying it. The next game, L.A. Noir. I've always wanted to play this game. I didn't get to play it. It's a Rockstar game. I love Rockstar. I was going to get this on sale during Black Friday for the Switch, but then I heard so many bad things about it. And then finally this one, was, which is actually in great, great condition. When I actually picked this up, the, the cashier at the, at the GameStop was like, wow, great game. This is an amazing game. Mass Effect I adored when I was playing, uh, when I was like a young kid. And it was so freaking fun. I loved it so much. Playing this game was just something new to me. I've never experienced a game like this at all. And it was a trade hold. And uh, GameStop held it long enough to the point where it expired and then now they owned it. Since I loved Mass Effect so much, I went along and bought the rest of the games. I got Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. I know 3 sucked, I got it for the Wii U and I couldn't stand it. I didn't joke when I said that I'm a big Mass Effect fan. The trilogy for the PS3. Now I have this digitally, it was on sale for $5.50. I wanted to get it physically for such a long time and now that they had the deal, this was actually $22 for me and you know, if you get this, then the second one would be 50% uh, off, which I'm gonna show you because it's also an expensive one. Uh, it, this is a really cool collector's edition. I kind of wish it was a, in a steel book so it could kind of like withstand a lot, but it it's a really cool collection of all the games um, that have that span one, two, and three with the manual intact. And then I got this for 10 bucks, which is also a steel collector um, edition of Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the ultimate Sith edition. I don't know what's the difference between this one and the other ones. I've tried them, I played them, they're really fun, but I never beat them. I really do want to beat them. They had two. This is the best one I got so far. I'm loving Borderlands so much. It's uh, I can't believe I didn't play it back in the day. All my friends were playing it, but nobody told me about it. Thanks. I got the pre-sequel. My eyes literally just locked onto this. This is cool. I didn't know they had these cool, shiny uh, cases that were, were being released. I mean, they don't do it anymore. I mean, they did it for Final Fantasy 15, but you rarely see these cool looking cases anymore where you have like little bump maps and then it's like really shiny. Look at that, isn't that cool? Devil May Cry, the HD collection. I've been looking for this game for a long time. I wanted to get it from Best Buy, but then it was sold out sold out. Believe it or not, this is brand new and uh, he actually, it was like sealed and he had to like rip it open. I didn't want him to do that. He could have just gave it to me, but he had to open it in front of me and then give it to me opened. 
uh, so they could sell it as pre-owned. Now I just gotta get uh, Devil May Cry 4 and 5 for the Xbox. I have Devil May Cry 5 for the PC because I really wanted to play it and it was on sale. Bioshock 2, Halo Reach, and they didn't have this on the stand, like uh, on the, the game stand. I actually had to ask them for this, and surprisingly, they had it hidden in the back. I don't know why. Burnout Revenge, and obviously Skyrim, Years of War 2. Probably the most fun I had online playing an Xbox game. This is also a game I put in a lot of hours, and I was just looking back at the achievements I unlocked with my friend Ivan. Ivan, if you're watching this, shout out to you, buddy. Uh, we used to play uh, co-op together so we could unlock the achievements where you could, you know, play together. And uh, it was... We had some fun times. I remember when my dad was around, we were playing this game, and it was, it was pretty cool, and I miss my dad, so, yeah. I, uh, I, so I have the whole collection now, including Fable 3, which was my favorite. Soul Calibur 4, I only got it because I had $10, a uh, $10 promo that the lady told me I had in my account, so I was like, okay, let me just get this game. And it was in horrible condition, so they told me to go to another GameStop to switch it up for another CD that is in decent condition. And then this one, I don't know what's going on with it. It didn't come with a manual or anything, but it was free, so it's whatever. Uh, this doesn't have any scratches, but it has a lot of like, like liquid stains on it. I don't know if you could see it from over there, but yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I'm gonna hope that cleaning it will probably fix it. Danganronpa 2, which is a PS Vita game, uh, and I was really happy to know that they gave it to me with the case and the artwork. This game, I've heard a lot of great things about it because it's like a, it's like a a mystery visual novel, horror, and all kinds of stuff. And I love that kind of stuff, and I love the Vita. So, as you can see, my Vita is right over there, just chilling. Then we got, of course, Borderlands 2. Can't believe it, but it actually came out on Vita, and we're gonna do a video testing it out and comparing it to the console versions. Lost Odyssey. This game has taken up so many hours of my childhood. It is one of the best RPGs turn-based RPGs I have ever played. The original creator of Final Fantasy, Hiranobu Sakaguchi. The first try was horrible. This is what happened. Yeah, the game was literally crushed, but then, you know, I made another order online and then I got lucky. And uh, because of that, I actually ordered another one from eBay because I didn't think that GameStop was gonna send me everything with it. Blue Dragon, I've always wanted to try this when I was a kid, but I never got my hands on it. I went and got a collector's edition for Oblivion. Oblivion, another game that I was playing a whole lot when I was younger, and uh, I obviously wasn't, I didn't have the collector's edition when I was younger, but I played Oblivion a whole lot, and I was like, let me treat myself to the collector's edition, and sadly, the collector's edition is incomplete, but it's pretty cool. Fallout 3, I used to play this a lot on Xbox 360, tell me, tell me you didn't choose to nuke the town. I nuked the town every chance I got. So this one is really cool, it's a rebranded Xbox One X and Xbox 360 version. Sonic Unleashed, I love this game so much, but I couldn't get past Beast Sonic. Hey, there we go. Okay, packaged pretty nicely. So buy four, get one free. Soul Sacrifice, I got Skylanders. Star Fox 64 3DS. This game, I already spent a lot of money on getting this game, and getting the case itself is like the same, almost half the price of the game. Very small. Um, you won't believe how much I got this game. Tekken Prime 3D for the 3DS. I have this game already. Bought it from GameStop and actually got it in great condition from GameStop when I bought it online. Uh, but this one was $2. All right, pretty cool. So what we got here is the sleeve for Sonic 06, the manual, because I, I got Sonic 06, it's somewhere in here, and uh, it didn't have a manual, so I want to put the manual in there. Okay, yeah, this is Soul Calibur 6. I'm not gonna open it, but uh, it's a Soul Calibur mini figurine of Talim. She's a character in Soul Calibur. And this is, I don't know why they gave me Talim. Why can't you give me Geralt or or anybody else except Talim? I said somebody I don't even play with, but uh, she's still pretty cool. She's cool. Borderlands Little Launch Edition. The reason why I got this, I already, you know, I already bought it. I already bought Borderlands. I got it for a great price. I wanted this slip on sleeve right here. Sonic 06. Oh my gosh, this is a this is a game that I, I played a lot, beat it. Uh, it was broken, but I loved it. And surprisingly, it's it's so expensive. This is a brand new Star Ocean. I got this game way back in the day for 60 bucks, and I was so excited because I love Star Ocean. And uh, you know, Xbox was really trying hard to get those uh, RPGs on the system because that's what I love. I loved RPGs, and they wanted the Japanese market to really 
for the Xbox to really blow up with all these RPGs. Sadly, it didn't do too well. This game wasn't, it was okay, you know, it's not, it's not as bad as the fifth one I hear. But they re-released it for the PS4 with updated 4K visuals and it never got a release for the Xbox One, which is ridiculous and beyond me. I want to show you what my girlfriend got me. She got me this as a gift. I've always wanted an Elite controller, but I've always held my, myself back. And I was like, you know, if you're gonna buy an Elite controller, you could get three games for that price. So I would always end up buying games instead. So she saw, she, she saw that I got an Xbox One X and she wanted to compliment my Xbox One X by getting me an Xbox Elite controller. Uh, sadly, they don't have any updates on this, but this is new. It was new. We got a new one. It's so freaking awesome. Thank you so much, baby. I love you, Vlada. You are amazing. Yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this pickup video. If you did, you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. So if I ever do any other videos like this, you'll be the first to know. I love you guys so much, and if you want to come back and support me, if you want to see more and I just can release it on a timely basis, then please support me on Patreon. You can also support me down below in the description box. You can check out all the different ways you can support me if can't do it it's totally fine i love you anyway as long as you watch the videos and you hit that like button comment then that's all i really need see you the later